Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I have 20 packages that are all BTS slash Jungkook related and I couldn't be more happier and more broke, but spending all my money on BTS makes me happy, so same thing. <laughs> Anyways, it's been two weeks since my last haul and so much has happened in regards to BTS. First of all, I went to see Bring the Soul with my friend, uh, the same one that I took with me to see the exhibition in New York and I loved it. Also, I'm proud to say that she's officially an ARMY now and even narrowed her biases to either Jin or Tae, but she's leaning more towards Jin, I can already tell. And speaking of Tae, he released Winter Bear, the most aesthetically pleasing video ever, and don't get me started on his soothing vocals, like that boy can sing me to sleep any day. And lastly, BTS recently performed at their Latte concert, rest in peace us Jungkook stands, like honestly, that look is gonna haunt me for the rest of my life. And it was their last scheduled performance before Big Hit announced that they'd be taking their first extended break since their debut. Which is true, the boys have been working for six years straight without an actual break, so this is big for them really. And in that statement, it said that this is their chance to enjoy the ordinary lives of young people, and when I tell you, I cried. Like honestly, as much as I miss them, it's what they deserve. Although people are already speculating that their comeback will be in October, and they even dropped the ARMY zip teaser last night, which said October 2019th, so even if there isn't a comeback, shit's about to go down soon. Plus, we have the Saudi Arabia and Final Soul concerts to look forward to, so this BTS strat won't be for long. But anyways, I think that's all I wanted to say, so let's just get straight into this video because I can't wait any longer to open these packages. So as always, I'm going to start with the smallest and then work my way to the biggest. Okay, so here's the first package, and yeah, as you can see, it says BTS JK PC, so spoiler, but it also says $10 for the value, and <laughs> bitch please, like I spent way more than $10 on this, I think they forgot to put a zero, but anyways, yeah, let me just get this open. Okay, so here's the photo card, and sorry I had to open that off camera, but I was getting paranoid that I would cut into it because it was pretty close to the cardboard. But anyways, as you can see, this is the BTS Love Yourself in New York Blu-ray photo card for Jungkook, and I haven't unboxed the Blu-rays yet. It's going to be in this haul, and you're probably thinking, well, why would you buy the photo card if you don't even know that you pulled him? I saw it for a decent price, so I just snatched it because knowing my luck, I know that I'm not going to pull him, so... Whoever else that I pull, I'm just gonna sell, and if I end up pulling him, then jokes on me, I'm a clown, but you know what, I really know my luck at this point, and I just know I'm not gonna pull him. Okay, so here's the next package, and as you can see, it says photo cards, and the value currency is $8. <laughs> they keep leaving out the two zeros, like, stop lying. <laughs> but anyways, let me get this open. Okay, so I got it open, and again, sorry that I have to keep opening these things off camera, but it saves some time that way because I'm just struggling, honestly. Like, they're getting harder and harder to open, and I don't know, I just wish that I still had my box cutter. Like, who remembers that one time I had a box cutter and then lost it and never found it again? Because, yeah, I miss it. <laughs> so, anyways, let me get this out. Okay, so this is what came out of the package, so why don't we start with this baby first? And oh my gosh, look how cute my baby boy's smile. I love it. So let me get that out of the plastic. And there it is. It looks like a bookmark. Or, you know, I guess it could be a bookmark. So that's so cute. And what else? Okay, then there's this. And another little cute baby, <laughs> baby cookie. Oh my gosh, she gave me so many freebies. All right, so let's just go through them quickly. Aw, these are so cute. When she told me she was giving me freebies, I didn't realize how many, so this is so nice. And by the way, I bought this from a seller on eBay. 
but we started talking back and forth through the messages and she just seemed so nice and she's a bts collector herself but she was getting rid of um a lot of things in her collection so she was selling them and yeah she gave me a really good deal these are so nice young forever era guys this is when i got into bts so this is honestly one of my favorite eras of all time these are so nice i really am gonna start a bts freebie binder okay so that's all of them so maybe I'll make a video on that. Somebody did mention in the comments if I could make a video like showing you how I organize my new binder. So I think that would be a cool idea. And more freebies. These are so cute. Oh, I got a Yoongi. These are so nice. Love it. And okay, so those are it for the freebies. And now on to what I actually bought. So first up, I got the epilogue photo cards. So, yeah, I decided to go back and collect some of Jungkook's um, concert photo cards. Okay, so these, yeah, are the epilogue ones. So let's look at the back. So this is 7 out of 7. And this is, like, my camera so far, so I'm going to kind of throw them on the floor. Um, 6 out of 7. Okay, we're going backwards. This is probably 5 out of 7. Yep. And this is 4 out of 7, this is 3 out of 7, oh he's so cute, 2 of 7, and 1 of 7, okay. And then I also got some of his, what are these, on stage photo cards, so yeah, one, two, three, and then I got five and seven. So I'm missing four and six. Yeah. But anyways, there's seven total in this set, but I did buy the remaining ones. I just haven't received them yet. So when I do get them in the mail, I'll have a complete set. But these are so cute. He looks so tiny. Like, he really has matured so much over the past couple of years, and, like, where did this baby go? Like, I miss my coconut baby. Because this new Jungkook is wild, and, yeah, I can't take it anymore. And then lastly, I got his, the final set, so, from Wings. Let me get that open. And I also got his mustard PCs. So, yeah, before, I wasn't planning on collecting muster photo cards, but after, like, the fifth muster, I'm just like, screw it, I'm gonna go back and collect all of Jungkook's things, and, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, guys, <laughs> like, financially, if I can do this, but we're gonna try. So, anyways, these are his player cards, so, I bought the whole set. Where, are they numbered? Oh, right there, two of seven. This is 3 of 7, and these are going for so expensive, but again, she gave me a decent deal. I won't say that, like, none of this was cheap, though, but when are they ever when it comes to BTS or Jungkook especially? Like, it ain't easy, you guys. The things I do for love. <laughs> and then I got his final photo cards. These are so nice. These only came with 6, I think. Yeah, 6. All right, so let's look at this. One of six. I'm so sorry for any background noise. Like, it's probably just my birds, but, you know, they won't shut up ever, so. Three of six. Four of six. Five of six, so cute. And last one, six of six. So yeah, you're definitely going to see a lot of Jungkook photo cards in this haul because when I decided to finally start collecting his muster and concert photo cards, I started panicking, realizing how much catching up I had to do. So one night I just threw all these cards into my eBay card and I just splurged. But yeah, I'm going to have to cool it down for a bit because like I'm on money saving lockdown because you never know when they're going to announce their next concert date. So I really should be looking ahead. 
but yeah i'm slowly gonna start collecting these photo cards of his i have to start a new binder for just jungkook because there's a lot of photo cards that he has and a lot that i'm missing so yeah that's gonna be fun <laughs> and stressful but fun i love collecting so anyways let me clear this up and we'll move on to my next package okay so here's the next package let me get that open So this next package is super exciting. I don't know if you saw as I was opening the package, but I bought some more fan art and you all know that I love fan art. And this time I bought from somebody new and yeah, here's her business card. So Jessie Hanna, and you probably know her from her username, Aegyo Hanna. See, I've been missing out because like I don't have Instagram, but I feel like a lot of enamel pin collectors and people know her. She's very popular and look how cute the sketch of Jungkook is. I love her art style so much. And then in the back, it just says, thank you, Sana. Love, Jesse. That is so cute. Okay, so let's check out the prints. So, yeah, I only got uh, one set of prints. So this is the OT7 set. So let me get this out of the plastic. Okay. So, yeah, start off with Hobie. And I love that it says, hey, mama. So this whole band-aid thing is like her little signature for like her art and it's so cute and it definitely symbolizes like about loving and he healing yourself i think she mentioned so i thought that was such a nice concept and yeah her art is just stunning Ooh. okay these are backwards okay oh my gosh this jungkook one is so pretty so yeah so not only am i gonna have like a freebie binder i think like i'm gonna gather up all the prints that i buy and put those in a binder I think that would be super cool. Like, look how stunning. Wow. These are beautiful. So gorgeous. And actually, yesterday, she had a shop update. And I wanted to buy even more prints. Because she had this um, Jungkook Billie Eilish. Um, or Eilish. I guess Billie Eilish. Yeah, she had this uh, Jungkook print that was, I guess, somehow inspired by one of her songs. And then there was also this Jcook print that I wanted. So I put that as well as the Jungkook one in my cart, but I was still browsing her shop. And then when I finally decided that that's all I wanted to get because the other things that I wanted were sold out, when I was checking out, it said that those are also sold out. So I was pretty bummed about that, but she did say that she's gonna have another shop update in the fall, I forget, maybe in September. So I'm looking forward to that because not only do I want those prints, she also revealed this new Jungkook enamel pin, which, look, I know that I said I would never collect enamel pins, but you guys don't understand. Like, this is long-haired emo Jungkook, and <laughs> yeah, the pin is just drop dead gorgeous, so if you see me, like, hauling Jungkook enamel pins in the future, like, mind your own business, like, <laughs> yeah, we're just not even gonna get into that right now, but it's a possibility. So anyways, uh, yeah, let me clear this up or move it back a bit because we got so many more packages to go, you guys. Okay, so here's the next package. Let me get that open. Okay, so I definitely bought from the seller before because, yeah, I can just tell from the packaging it's like on some next level. Okay, so yeah, once again, we have the note. So, dear Sona, thanks always. I hope you like it. Oh my gosh. So, we got some Persona photo cards of Jungkook. Oh my gosh, so cute. You guys, I love the sellers so much. Highly recommend them. And yeah, so let's move on to what I bought. So, as you can see, I got the fourth Monster Happy Ever After set. So here it is. So yeah, it's their official fan meeting in Japan. So let me get that open. I 
Okay, so to avoid having this haul be like another two hour long one, I'm going to start speeding things up a bit. So whether it's a set of photo cards or a photo book we're looking through, I'm just going to like speed it up and play music in the background. And yeah, that way you guys can just enjoy the beauty that is Jungkook or BTS as you should. So yeah, starting now. Okay, so that was his fourth muster happy ever after official fan meeting in Japan photo card set. Wow, that was a mouthful. So yeah, let me clear this up and we'll move on to the next package. Okay, so as I was clearing that up, I got notified by email that I got a package delivery and oh my gosh, you guys, look what it is. I got the new Taylor Swift album. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is actually a BTS related package. So yeah, it just looks like Amazon promoting her new album. Like honestly, what goes on in the Western music world? I had no idea she had a new album out. But anyways, then I also got this one and this is also BTS related. So I'll be opening these two in this haul. And then I did get two trades in the mail, and then I also got this mysterious package. I have no idea what this is. I'm guessing it's from US Asia, but I'm not sure. But I don't think that's BTS related. So yeah, the trades in that other package I might open if I have time at the very end of this haul, but I highly doubt it considering there's 20 packages and then plus these two. So yeah, I'm probably going to split this haul into two parts, do 10 packages in one and then like another 10 in the other, or actually sorry, 12 in this one, 10 in the other, whatever. We'll see. We'll go with the flow depending on how long each part is, but uh, I'll save the other packages maybe for another haul or maybe I'll just open them off camera and then just post what I got on Twitter if you guys are interested to see what I got. But yeah, this is getting insane and I just can't unbox everything. Like I'm kind of overwhelmed and I just want to like rip into them, but like I have to take my time and show you guys properly. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I think I'll start with this one and actually this goes hand in hand with this package. So I'll be opening both of these two and you'll see why in just a second. All right, so let's start off with this one first because I did receive it in the mail first and as you can see it's already open because I accidentally tore this open thinking that this was in the next volume in My Hero Academia because this is from Barnes & Noble's and recently I ordered a bunch of manga from there but it turned out that it was a BTS item and I was like oh crap I wanted to save that for my haul so uh, yeah I just taped it up so that we can open it together. But yeah let me get it open. Alright, so this is what I got in that package. So this is the Mattel Uno BTS card set. And as it says here, it includes a special rule. So I'm assuming it's a little different from the typical Uno game. And there's the back. So let's see. Get ready to rock with this BTS edition of Uno. Get your opponents dancing with a special Dancing Wild card. <laughs> okay. And remember to yell Uno before the last song is sung. Mm-hmm interesting and yeah so i paid 6.99 for it on the barnes and nobles website so yeah and then i also ordered another set of the bts uno cards on amazon so this will be for playing purposes and the other one will be for collection purposes so those i'm just going to keep like in the set untouched or maybe i'll put them in my binders but it might take up a lot of space so i'm not sure about that but yeah, this one will be for playing because lately my niece and I have been playing Uno a lot lately. She's been really into it. So yeah, I thought it'd be fun to introduce her to BTS while we're playing because I already got her into manga. So now getting her into K-pop. Yeah, I'm like my best aunt really. But anyways, so here you get two sets, I think. And here are the instructions. So contents object of the game, setup, let's play, functions of action cards. So yeah, it explains everything. And if there's any changes like that dancing wild card that they say in the back, then yeah, they'll probably explain how to play it in there. So yeah, why don't I open this and I'll fast forward it so I can show you guys all the cards because there's a lot to get through. So I'm going to speed this part of the video up, show you guys it, and then we'll open the Amazon one.
Okay, so that was probably a waste of time going through each and every card, considering that all the sets are the same, I mean, just different colors, but I figured I might as well show it to you guys one time since this is supposed to be an unboxing channel and, well, <laughs> that's the whole purpose of it. But yeah, I'm really excited to play with these. I mean, they can put BTS's face on anything and I'm instantly sold. But yeah, I, I got this set for collection purposes, so let me just get it open and then we'll be moving on to the next package. So here it is. And yeah, this one actually looks like it's in better condition, so I'm glad I chose to open the other one and not this one. So yeah. Alright, so now that we went through the Mattel Uno cards, I want to continue on with that trend and open the other Amazon packages that I got. And you guys have probably already guessed what it is, so yeah, let me clear this up so that we can take a look at it. Alright, so here's the next package, and oh my gosh, so I just realized that I still had these numbers written on me, and yeah, I was bored at work one day and I just scribbled them down, so anyways, don't ask me what they are because you'll think I'm crazy, but hey, if you know, you know. <laughs> so yeah, let me get this open, and hopefully I won't cut myself this time. Like, somebody in the comments legit thought I was going to stab myself, and I thought that was so funny, because it's going to happen one of these days. Ta-da! So I got Namjin's Mattel doll, and yeah, oh my gosh, you guys, look at him. <laughs> like, these are low-key cute and scary at the same time, but, you know, again, put BTS's face on anything and I'll buy it, like, even though I was, like, one of the first people to clown it when they released the designs for it, so yeah, we already knew this was gonna happen, even people on Twitter were telling me, you're still gonna include it in your haul when it comes out, right? And 
Yep, you know me too well. So I bought the whole set. They just came in separate packages. So let me get the next one open. So one sec. Okay, so here's the next package and it came in this really long rectangular one. But yeah, I'll just get it open like this. And here we have Yungi. Oh my gosh, you guys, I could not tell who this was. I had to read the name down here. But yeah, so there's the back. And these packages were getting damaged, I can tell, in that box. Like, it was way too thin. And it kind of pisses me off because I got these for collection purposes and I don't intend, like, to take them out of the box. So I wanted the box to look pristine. I probably should have just bought it in stores at Barnes & Noble's because they actually came in a few days early, but I had already pre-ordered them on Amazon. So... I was like, you know, I'll just wait until my order comes rather than having to go through the hassle of canceling it and buying it on the spot at Barnes & Nobles. But yeah, if you guys want to get them in good condition, you should probably just buy them in stores because when they deliver it, these get kind of dented, like even Namjoon's at the top. Yeah, but it's fine. I mean, I have no shelf space anyways. Like, I'd have to move out and have a whole room dedicated to BTS to display these, which will happen one day. <laughs> so let me get my last box. Actually, I should probably clear this up first since the last box has the rest of the dolls in them and it's really big. So let me move these aside. All right, so this should have the remaining dolls in it. So let me get that open. Gosh, you guys, look at Jungkook. <laughs> These eyes are look cute. Jin doesn't look like him, but we'll go with it. Hobies. I think they actually did justice to Hobie, <laughs> if anybody. And then we got Jimin. And last but not least, my absolute favorite. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at Tay. Guys, this reminds me now of that meme that's been going around of this doll like standing by the doorway. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna open these. So here, let's look at them one more time. And Hobie, just a close up. And then Jungkook. So I like his red hair. I mean, the outfits look really nice. And you know what? People have been customizing their dolls and removing these clothes and designing their own. And somebody did one for uh, Yoongi. Hold on, let me get him. Yeah, somebody did. Oh, that's not Jim. <laughs> somebody made a customized uh, Yoongi seesaw set and they created his stage outfit with the red sparkly jacket. And I thought that looked so cool. So yeah, seeing what others were doing with their dolls convinced me to get myself another Jungkook doll. That way I can actually take him out of the package and dress him up however I like. And someone inspired me when I saw that they dressed their Jungkook doll up in a black hoodie. And I just saw he looked so cute because he actually resembles what Jungkook would dress like on the daily. So yeah, that's actually what's in this package here. This Taylor Swift box is <laughs> just another Jungkook doll. So since it's my extra one, I'll actually unbox him that way I can show you guys what the doll looks like outside of the package but only for him because I wouldn't have been able to afford getting all seven again just for like playing purposes well I wouldn't play with them but you know what I mean all right so I just moved the other dolls aside and you can see their feet over there but yeah here is the box let me get it open Okay, so I forgot that I ordered an extra Jungkook Funko Pop, and again, I did it for the same reason, so that I can take him out of the box, and that way I can display him on my shelf, because previously I bought, um, 
here. I have it out here. This is the Barnes & Noble's exclusive uh, seven member edition. So yeah, I got the OT7 set before, but it looks cute like this and I decided to just keep it in the box, but it, I can't display this because it's too big to put on my shelf. So yeah, I decided to just get Jungkook's one that way I can put it on my shelf if I take him out because the packaging is just too bulky. So I will take him out of this. And the same thing with the Miguel doll. So I'll open this one and also have it displayed. I'm so nervous to open it. Okay, I need to get over my collector self and just get it open. <laughs> this hurts. Okay. Let me just do this. you guys so this takes me back to like my days as a kid when i used to get barbie dolls because i used to play with barbie dolls and action figures because i have a sister and two brothers so when i used to play with my brothers i play with action figures and with my sister we play barbies good times <laughs> oh my gosh you guys look at him his hair is so gelled feels weird to touch Oh my god, look at the eye makeup. So, I mean, this is pretty detailed. I don't know. It's cute, you guys, okay? It's cute. Oh wait, let me get his feet out of this. Okay, and can we move around? Oh wow. Let's see if we can make him dance. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'll stop. Alright, but yeah, that's Jungkook for you guys. So... Yeah, I'll be posting pictures on my Twitter if I do get, like, other cute outfits and dress him up. So, yeah, this is really fun. I can't wait to just put this on my shelf. Alright, and there is Jungkook Funko Pop. So, yay, I got two cherry coops. <laughs> Which one's cuter? Honestly, I don't know, the Funko Pops are kind of scary looking too. Like, I never collected Funko Pops before, but yay, he's going to go right on my shelf. Okay, so those are all the dolls that I got. So we got Hyung Line on the top and then Makne on the bottom, along with my two extra Jungkook dolls are my Funko Pop and my Mattel doll. So yeah, a little ridiculous that I got them all. I mean... But what can you do? I'm trash. Okay, guys, I'm trash. We already know. So let me clear this up and we will move on to my two remaining packages for this part of the haul because I wanted to split it evenly. So I'm going to save 10 packages for part two. So yeah, we'll go through two more at least. Okay, so I decided to open the trades in that one box off camera, the one that I got earlier today that I wasn't sure of what was inside because I knew it wasn't BTS related and this is a BTS haul so I want that to be the main focus. But I did just want to quickly show you guys what I got. So I got Daniel's solo debut album, Color On Me, and I'll just show you guys my pulls since there are plenty of unboxings of this already. So this is the photo card that I got. He's so cute, and I love this album so much. And this is the film strip. And then you get these postcards. I haven't done my research on this album, so I don't know if these are random or if they come with every album, but I love them. And then lastly, you get this sticker sheet. So I love the whole aesthetic of this album, and the photo book is really gorgeous too. Here, let's just do a quick flip through just to give you guys an idea. I don't see anything. There we go. So, yeah. Love this album so much. Definitely give it a listen if you haven't already. And then I also got Wusung's Wolf album. So let me just show you guys my random stuff. Oop. Okay. So, I haven't done my research on this album too, so I don't know if this comes with all of them, but I know it comes with a few different photo cards and this tattoo. Uh, yeah, hold on. <laughs> Gotta slide it out. Okay. There we go. Super cute. I want to collect his cards. 
I do collect this cards for the rose, but yeah. And then lastly, I got, hold on, let me move that aside. I got NCT Dreams We Boom, both versions of course. So excited for these because I do collect all of NCT, so I will be collecting these cards. So it really makes no difference who I get as long as I don't pull doubles. So actually I didn't do the scratch card yet. So this I'll probably reveal in a community post or on Twitter so you guys can see who I got because I'm not going to do that right now. But I got Jason's card and Chumla's circle card. And yeah, I'm really excited about that. And then for the other version, I got my son Jisung again. So I have his set complete, which is nice. And I got Jeno's uh, circle card. And again, scratch card, I don't know who I got just yet. So yeah, that's it for the album. So that all came in that one box from Yes Asia. And then I also got two trades, so let me show you. Okay, so here's the first trade that I did recently, and look how cute. So I finally traded my last Yogyo for the Spam Bam, so now I have a complete heart set, which I'm super happy about. So yeah, let's just read her note. Hi Sana, thank you so much for trading with me. I actually love your videos a lot. You might be wondering about the cat card and the One Direction tape. Sorry, I'm moving and it's all I could find in my boxes, LMAO. So sorry for that. Let me know when you receive back. So yeah, she reached out to me to trade and I was so happy. And honestly, the One Direction stickers are adorable. <laughs> like you don't have to apologize for that. And I love cats. You know, we have so many strays in our yard because we're that crazy family that actually feeds all the cats. So I thought it was so funny that she actually gave me a cat card. And then even the second person that I traded with gave me a cat card. <laughs> so that's so cute. And oh my gosh, guys, look at all these BTS freebies they gave me. So yeah, I just have to film this because when people give me such cute things, like I just want to thank them and show them how much I appreciate them. So yeah, this is from You Never Walk Alone. And then I Need You. And then look how little these fetuses, <laughs> like look at them throwing up hands. Like, And then my baby boy, he's so squishy. I can't, like, honestly... <laughs> and then for you so thank you so much for those i love them and then we traded for uh, oh my gosh i didn't even see this one so cute look at him with his carrot all right and then we traded for xosc's um i don't know what you call this the little tag looking thing so i had an extra sehun so i traded for the unit because that's the only one that i was missing and she just wrote, thank you. Hopefully Sehun and Chen Yeo get to you safe. Love your videos. Well wishes from Buffy. Thank you so much, Buffy. I really did love the freebies. So yeah, I just wanted to quickly give a shout out to them. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the random part of this haul. But back to BTS, you guys. Okay, so here's the next package. Let me get that open. first here's the note from the seller and i love the seller so much i buy from them all the time so please check the description if you want to know where i got this from but as i mentioned in my last haul i was going to buy the complete box set for the light slash boy with love album for bts so i'm so happy that i finally got a box set in the past i only ever got like all four editions like individually but this time i decided to treat myself and get the box set and i'm thinking about going back and collecting all the box sets but i'm not in a rush to get them because i do have all the cds already and then i also got the fan club edition so yeah and these should come with the postcards and photo cards too so yeah why don't we look through this first actually so here let's get the cds out oh my gosh so we got the postcard set and the photo cards so i'll move those aside for now okay so why don't we start off with the normal edition first so yeah, we have the OB strip, cool, and the CD itself. So yeah, the normal edition usually just has a plain cover and it just has three tracks, lights, and then the Japanese versions for Boy With Love and Idol. And let me get it open. I'm not going to do a thorough unboxing, so yeah, there's a CD 
because this is kind of old and I know lots of people have already done it. And I already know that Japanese albums don't really have many photos. In fact, this is just the lyrics. So, yep. And now let's move on to version A. So, Obi strip. And then the back, so the difference between this and the normal is that it comes with a DVD and it has the lights and idle music videos. And if we get it open, you have the CD on one side and the DVD on the other. And then you can take a look, this also probably just has lyrics. Yep. There's one version specifically for the photo book if that's what you're interested in, but these are the ones that come with the DVDs. I'm gonna move that aside. So yeah, this one's also another DVD version, but these covers are so pretty. I like this blue one a lot. It's similar to this, and that one is like that. So yeah, OB strip, and then the back. So this one comes with the making of the video and making of the jacket photos. So let's get it open. Wow, that's such a pretty color. And yeah, the DVD. And the inside. Okay, and then lastly, the photo book one. So, Obi strip, the cover. This cover is so cute. And the back. So, it just comes with the tracks, no DVDs. But yeah, the added bonus is that I feel a thick photo book. And yeah, the CD. So let's get that out. All right, I'm excited to get into this. And look at V-Man, they're so cute, I'm devastated. And Jungkook, like, seriously, it's disgusting that he's able to make my heart race like this, but it's whatever. <laughs> so let's try to go through this quickly. So we have the lyrics. And oh my gosh, baby boy, so cute. I, I have no words. And I'm low-key developing a hand kink because of him, like, Especially when you can see his veins. I don't know. Don't at me, guys. Oh my gosh, Tay. See? His hands, too. They all just have really pretty hands. And I love his hair that color. And it matches the background. That's really pretty. Hobie. I love my son. Oh my gosh, he's currently in LA for, like, important business. So, <laughs> I'm really excited. Oh my gosh, Jimin. He makes me so soft. And then we got Jin. What does this shirt say? The best is yet to come. Okay, I believe you. Yungi, I love his outfit. Look at him. Those shoes are so cool. And then Namjoon and his hair over here. So good. Alright, and then repeat. So back to baby boy. The most adorable. And then Tay. Oh, I really like that picture. Gosh, I love him so much. Look how cute the whales on his sweater are. <laughs> oh, he has sailboats. Wow, that picture, you guys. He can spit on me and I think him. Gosh, okay, let me stop before I get weird. Alright, so yeah, that was the box set. So now let's move on to the fan club edition. Alright, so here's the fan club edition. Okay, so don't ask why I ripped the plastic like that. I thought it was supposed to peel. I don't know, I'm dumb. But anyways, so here's the Obi strip. And then we have the cover. I love this cover. I actually got a poster like this when I ordered the albums off of h and Japan. But I did sell the albums. So thank you to the person who bought it for me. And here's the back. So yeah, you just have the same tracks. And the difference between this is that it has the changing jackets. So here, let me show you. So yeah, this part is just the lyrics. And then these you can customize your album with. So we have Namjoon first, then Yoongi, Jin, Obi, Jimin, Tae, and Jungu. So we know my trash ass is gonna display him. 
Okay, so this is what it looks like if you put the individual member sleeve as the cover. So yeah, I think that looks super pretty. But I'm probably going to take these out and put them in my photo card binder and then just leave the regular fan club edition cover as it is. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys that. And now lastly, let's take a look at the photo cards and postcards. So let's start off with the photo card set. Alright, so here it is. And I'm already in love with this Namjoon photo card. Oh my gosh. Truly blessed. <laughs> and there's the back. And the backs are all plain like this. Aw, Youngie. So cute with his little thumbs up. And then Worldwide Handsome. Gosh, he really does look amazing. And Toby. Doesn't look like they have much makeup on, but they just look naturally beautiful. And Jimin with his little finger heart. Oh my gosh, this next one is so cute. Look at him. His lips just make that straight line. And look how thick his eyebrows are. It looks extra thick. Like, is that penciled in? <laughs> oh my gosh, this next one. Bye. I'm seriously going through it. He's so cute. And he looks so good in pink. So, so happy to have these in my collection now. And now let's take a look at the postcards. Okay, so Namjoon. And the backs are just plain. Got Yungi, Jin. I'm loving these colors. Like, it just looks so vibrant. Hobie with his Hollywood shirt. Oh my gosh, Jimin's lips. Can we just take a moment? Like, they just look extra glossy in that picture. Tay. And then the love of my life. Gosh. They really are the best boys ever. So, yeah, now let me clear this up. Okay, so here's the next package. Let me just get that open. Okay, so this is what I got in that package. So as you can see, it's the VT BTS perfume that they did. And of course, I got Jungkook's version. Are we surprised? No. But yeah, I forget what it's called. It's like something ocean. But yeah, I don't know what it smells like. I mean, I watched some unboxings, but I haven't watched an unboxing for his perfume. And I don't know. I mean, it could smell like trash and I'll still wear it, to be honest. So yeah, why don't we just go ahead and get it open. But before we do, why don't we take a look to see what stand I got because it's supposed to be random, but we'll see. Okay, so the top got badly dented, but I really don't mind that much. Oh my gosh. Did this seller just give me Jungkook because I bought his perfume? Because it did say random. And I'm thinking that's too much of a coincidence. Okay, so I had to do that off camera because it's taking me forever to get him to stand, but there it is. Isn't he so cute? My gosh, I'm in love. I'm honestly more excited about this than the perfume itself, but yeah, I can't wait to display that on my shelf. But now let's get the perfume open. Alright, so that's the front and the back. So yeah, that's the name of his perfume. All right, it's pretty fancy. Okay, so it just comes out like that. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot that it comes with cards. Uh, oh, hold on, it's stuck. Okay, let's take a look at the perfume first. Okay, so there it is in the back. So yeah, let me get this out of the plastic. a small bottle but yeah so it's the 50 milliliter one i don't know if there's a bigger size to be honest okay and here's the bottle it's very simple and cute 
And yeah, I guess it's time to finally test it out. So I guess most people just spray it on their wrist. Um, okay. I'm gonna do it on my shirt. Oh, wow, <laughs> that was a lot. Oh my God. Hold on, <laughs> I feel weird sniffing on the camera, but it smells really good. Oh my gosh, I don't, I'm really bad with scents. I don't even know how to describe it. Honestly, it low-key smells more like men's cologne than women's perfume, but like that's not a bad thing. In fact, it kind of smells like what I imagine Jungkook to smell like, so I don't know. Maybe I'll spray my cookie pillows with it and then hug it at night, you know, when I'm in my field. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm a weirdo. But anyways, uh, oh yeah, so let's take a look at the postcards now. Okay, so here it is, and I think it's taped. Okay, so here's the postcard set, and oh my gosh, look how amazing they look. Honestly, for this alone, it's like worth the price, to be honest, because you get O27 here. Look how gorgeous. So yeah, I really don't have any of their other like endorsement photo cards because I never bought like VT Cosmetics things. Like this is the first thing that I got and I just had to get it when I saw them doing like their little perfume ad. Wow, Jimin's hair looks so nice, like cotton candy. I love it when he has like soft pastel colors as his hair. And yep, so cute. Wow, daddy. <laughs> Sorry, we're gonna try to keep it rated PG. But yeah, that was it. So I think they both fit in a four pocket sleeve. So definitely gonna add that to my binder. And yeah, so that's everything that I'm going to show you guys in part one of this haul. And the remaining 10 packages I will show in part two. Let me see if I can clean this up a bit. <laughs> So as I was cleaning, I actually just realized that it has the other members' perfumes on the back in case you were wondering their names. So yeah, it's not Jin's. And then, yeah, Jungkook's is the one that I have. And then these. And I'm not French, so I'm not even going to try to butcher these names. Jin's. Hobie's. Namjoon's and then Youngie's. Okay, so that's everything that I'm going to show in part one of this haul. I'm too lazy to bring back everything else into frame, but I hope you all enjoyed watching and I hope you stay tuned for part two. Bye!